Well, I'm standing on my porch waiting on a phone call from Hunter. He um he's on call, you know. He got he got called out, and he's planning on taking his wife Anna this afternoon as a front coming. And um, we've got a couple bucks coming behind the house. It's hit and miss with them, but some afternoons they come out there and shooting a lot. So he's gonna take her back there. So I'm waiting to hear from him to see if I'm gonna go hunt by myself and try to take out one of these old does or if I'm gonna go with Anna. So y'all stand by. All right, so the good news is Hunter and him got the call taken care of. He's on the way to pick up Anna. So I'm gonna slip back here and um, see if I can shoot this old doe. And um, one I've talked about in another video, she's, she's smart, man. I've, <laughs> we're trying to um, take her this year. She's seven or eight years old, smart as any old buck around here. Big old humongous body doe. And hasn't had a phone that I know of in the last two or three years. Um, but she's smart. But if she comes out, I'm going to try to get her. But um, Hunter's going to take Anna over to our shooting house over here behind the house. And um, see if she can get her biggest buck to date. And in the meantime, y'all check out a hunt that um, my brother Jared had with his daughter Taylor. This past weekend, she got her biggest deer so far. So y'all check that out. And um, stay with us. We'll see what's going to happen. Redneck doing it. Got the buck on the back. <laughs> got the shooter on the front. <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs>
Damn. Did I get him? Yeah, you dropped him. You dropped him. <laughs> Do it, baby girl. Oh, um, I ruined your blind, Daddy. Yeah. It's <laughs> Well, I'm back at the house from our afternoon hunt. I hope y'all enjoyed Jared and Taylor. Um, my old big fella, my brother, he gets he gets excited, which he should. If any of you have children, man, introducing them to the outdoors is uh, something special. I know for us, it's um, not just something we go and do. It's a lifestyle. My whole family hunts, my kids, my wife. And um, so to see Taylor get her biggest buck that she's ever killed, man, that's, that's awesome. Um, man, the deer moved like crazy this evening. I s did not see the doe that I wanted to wanted to try to take out, but um, saw a couple young bucks. One that'll be a stud one day. But Anna and Hunter, man, they saw um, they saw two bucks, and they saw the one that she wanted to kill. And he um, that younger buck just stayed in front of him, man. They came out in the last five or six minutes of shooting light and. That young buck just stayed in the way, and he wouldn't ever clear and give her a good shot. And she made the right decision and, and um, did the ethical thing and just and just waited. And um, of course, legal shooting light ended, and they were able to sneak out without spooking anything. So she'll be back after them. So uh, hopefully she'll get it, and we'll get that on video. But y'all stay with us, man. Subscribe to the channel. This is um this is what we do. It's um it's all family, and um we just I mean. You know, we're, we live in this, you know, part of the world where we come home from work and go run, jump in a deer stand. And I know there's, you know, millions of people like that all across the country. Um, sometimes we might not have the newest and best camo and fanciest of whatever, but, um, man, we love the deer hunt. I love to keep the family involved. Um, try to keep God first and, um, and everything is all easy after that. Thank y'all for watching.